Okay, next up we're going to dip down into that loser side. We got to get... Oh, wait, I did press the right button. We got to get absolute zero back on here. Yeah, you were ridiculous, Nikki. That was that was sick. Roman, thank you so much for this up. Nick Nicholas. Nick Nicholas. We gotta get absolute zero in here versus Park Jr. Alright, so we got Stinky back on stream. See if he's woken up now. I think Heart, just Heart would let me find him. Oh no. Oh wait, that's right. He's changed his name to something Chinese. I can't remember what it was. Let's just search Killer and uh, see who's playing Killer Instinct right now. Oh, it does not. It it didn't let me do that. Maybe just instinct, the four letters of instinct, I think is what it brought it up before. I'm sorry, Hart, I don't know your fucking name right now. Oh, that doesn't help either. F. Let's see what if I can find it. What is the count that Seahart's been playing with? Jow by June? Yeah, by, by, I found it, I found it. Oh, by Jow. Something, yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you fought really well for a frog in boiling water, Boevra. Um, didn't see no frogs on the screen. I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, no rashes. I don't think we're going to see a single rash this entire tournament, honestly. No, we might, but I don't think we will. Never say never, though. Not with this game. Oh my god, your game froze. Sucks. Well, thankfully it happened before we got in here. I don't, I don't count shit before you get in the lobby. That would be ridiculous. Oh my goodness. So, let's see. In Winner's Finals, we're going to have Dojo Master versus Nikki. I, I guess we might see a bot mirror in there. Uh, Nikki's very good at the Fulgore mirror. I, I can imagine. If the Smurf is who we think it is, I wouldn't be surprised if a wolf comes out. Wolf is very annoying to fight with Fulgore. I, I what are you talking be, about your sub I, I'd be whatever? surprised if Zero's picking Orchid for this match. But also, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Honestly, I know. I know. Whenever he plays around in ranked, he likes to. He likes to play a bunch of. He plays like the entire cast where he plays around in ranked. Mm hmm. Which I honestly, it's a great time to watch because you never know what's going to happen. Wait, what? What's up, Banlings? I know it's early. It is oily. Oh, Banelings doesn't have Twitter, huh? Banelings does not have Twitter. Okay, there we go. We got Heart in there. He doesn't have Twitter, but I, I do ping it in the Discord. I'm not sure how much... Uh, yes, you can see it in the those. Discord. That is true. Alright, wonder what matchup we'll be seeing. Who can say... Wolf versus Orchid. Oh, I think wow. this is a 5 5 matchup. Pretty pretty even split. Uh, Both characters pretty good at footsies. Both characters got decent offense. Both characters are like relatively easy to block, like their overheads and stuff. But I was gonna say I uh I gotta say I saw uh Orchid uh Absolute Zero's Orchid first time in tournament uh that I saw in a tournament, I should say. Uh, mm -hmm. this Wednesday in the Permadeath tournament and it was kinda cooking. He was doing some stuff. Yeah, Zork is not bad, for sure. I think he 3-0'd uh, Zenkai with it. See, Hart's no joke on the wolf either. He's got a wolf. Oh, yeah. No, for sure. I do not want to discount Hart. Hart got one of the best backdashes in the game as well. It's pretty fast and goes really far. <clears throat> I'm also an Orchid down player. I know a lot of people like with the work Nate's been putting with the character put her higher on tier list, but I just think that's Nate being really good. That oh, you didn't weird. know Bailings? Yeah, uh, only a, a 
<laughs> I'll explain it in the midterm uh, whenever we get back to the thing. Let's come take out the badge. Yeah, that, yeah, it absolutely didn't shadow counter that shadow leaping sesh, but also it didn't seem to hit all five times for some reason. Nice, didn't fall for the shadow counter bait there. Oh, I, I like to do that though. too. If you late cancel your instinct on a ragged edge, you can base some shadow counters. Yep. Gotta deal with that. Oh no! Yeah, just raw overhead. <laughs> Why are you sitting <laughs> down, bro? <laughs> I mean, Orchid does have a full screen low too, right? So you gotta be careful playing Flitzy oh against her. That ty that Shadow Cat, that Fire Cat, obscures so much whenever it explodes. Yeah, the the, the Cat kind of went ham on the particle system. With a lot of particles on explosions. Ooh, ooh. Pressure from Orchid. Ooh, nice, nice mash out. Yeah, Wolf's crushing medium punch, six frames, very good for mashing out of stuff. Oh, what? Just the? barely missed time that cash out. Yeah. Wolf's does have one frame after the freeze now, right? That was added like season two, I think. Uh, yeah. So if a character is falling they, and they have one frame to fall, then yeah. Wolf can miss them. They with did, one of those did not spend the feral cancel. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, Seahart definitely could have feral canceled the ragged edge there or the overpower or one of those to get even more plus frames and go for a, a, a tougher to block mix up. But Ooh, nice dash through. Yeah. Yeah, it works though. The jabs at zero into dash through actually is surprisingly annoying to deal with. I'm glad you can admit that. Yeah, because if you try to mash right away, sometimes you'll hit the wrong, like you'll attack the wrong side and then Wolf will be through you and punish you. Mm -hmm. Alright, Banelings, Trash can explain to you now. Okay, Banelings, ever since uh, I got onto uh, oh, I've been, I've, I've been thinking about doing this for like months now. But uh, with moving to Padia, I decided to go ahead and pull the plug on it. The second Wednesday of every month, I'm doing a special rules tournament, uh, or special format, maybe is the right way to say that. But it's not always going to be double limb with like some character restriction or whatever. And then the Sunday following the second Wednesday uh, will be the Ultra Fun Atomic Monthly, which will be a a Monday tournament. For now, Padia is given $50. Uh, Sometimes, though, it might just be uh, a prize pool via Matcharino or uh, Padia crowdfunding whenever they get that up. Mm hmm. Pick them with the wolf, you like to see it. I mean, it didn't do too bad. Nope. And when you said months, when you were saying, oh, I planned on this for months, you said months with a fat UH in the middle of it <laughs> instead of the O. Ooh, nice black block on the overhead. <laughs> nice patience. Not a max damage punish from CR. I like the overpower reset though. I will just real quick. I'll note that they're not always going to be this early. 2 p.m. is where I plan to do them usually. Eastern. 2 p.m. Eastern. Saturday afternoon tournament. Sunday. Saturday is revival. Right. The grenades gonna oh save her. Yeah. The invincibility is long. Uh, it feels long in Eclipse whenever I parry, but it's not that long. It is. Shadow Clips has a lot of invul, but... Ooh, yeah. The only thing you can link there is a light, so... T-Hart knew. Oh, he tried wow. to catch it on the back. Chased her down. It's so far. It lasts pretty long. Oh, well, yeah. Shadow Countering. Gamble from Absolute paid off there. Oh my god, he went for a reset. Yeah, if you're not super tight on those resets, then it might not frame trap. Especially the heavy slide linker. You gotta be really tight on your feral cancel and dash through there for it to frame trap. Oh my uh, god. Nice reaction. Nothing Wolf could have done there to stop that from being shadow countered. I, I have uh, the same feelings with uh, Kim Wu. Yeah, that's gonna stuff that. That's... Oh my god, no punish. Nine frames after the freeze is Wolf shadow leaping slash. Can't get stuffed out. <laughs> Double four dash sweep in his face. That's optimal, don't you know? I guess. Oh my god, dash true, whiffs the throw. But he did a Chicago punish. Ooh, on nice that. trip guard. Oh. Uh, no hit confirmed, but doesn't get the dash the reset. Medium, light, heavy, broken. Back to footsies. Ooh. Nice. He tried to get that whip punish, but he got whip punished instead. Wolf's gotta respect that grenade. Nice open up low. Oh, but went for the walk up forward. 
Yeah. Damn. Absolutely. Dang, Smelly just... could have won if he punished into Shadow. Finds the reset to Shadow anyway, but definitely be looking for those optimal punishes on whiffed counter breaks. Which is generally some heavy button into Shadow Opener. Don't be like me. I think I did it on stream like a day or two or three or four ago. I I, sh I Chicago punished a counter break attempt. There's so Everyone much damage on I mean, the table. Yeah, I used to have a bad habit of just always jab punishing like everything, and it took me a while to get the muscle memory out of me, so I don't do that anymore. But I used to just jab punish like everything, no matter how punishable it was. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you get that heavy starter, so you get a lot more damage. I mean, it's nice to start out with a jab, you know, whenever you're checking like what is punishable and whatnot. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get but when you're optimizing your gameplay, yeah. Get those max punishes. With Wolf, it's your crouching heavy kick in most situations. Crouching heavy kick into shadow. A lot of characters, it's their standing heavy punch or crouching heavy punch into shadow. Okay, possible victory here from Zero Hearts. I don't know it, it, it seemed to be waning a bit in this in that second game. It seemed to absolutely. It's definitely a like there's some nuances in this matchup. You need to take advantage of Wolf. Um, of course, you just need to be able to block Orchid. I think Crouching Medium Kick is actually a pretty good poke in footsies because it low profiles a lot of her stuff and it also doesn't get oh, low crush. Zero so being cheeky, pretty good. Trying to go for a grenade right there. He got out though. He broke. Nice brawl. Yeah, you knew that was coming. Yep. The too obvious was Wolf. Definitely cannot be relying on what Zero went for there. Upon his low overheads. Uh, yes. It's unsafe. His real We're definitely gambling his, on his it. real uh, game is the strike throw. It is. And it's very good. Wow, what a catch. Just went jab into shadow. This has been all Damn, yeah. Look at look at her, look at that life lead. Nothing that Orchid can't make up, though. She does... The best things about Orchid are definitely her mobility and her damage. She does a lot of damage. Can a... Wolf can't really do much about uh, grenade tosses unless he's, like, really close. Well, not... He's kind of close. What do you mean? Can't do anything about... Like, oh, punish? Pun yeah. He has to be, like... Yeah, she's charging it, yeah. You can, you can uppercut it. You can slide it. That's what I try to do. I mostly try to uppercut Orchid. Ooh, heavy break. You definitely wanna you want you want definitely wanna set the precedent where you're not letting her in neutral. Yeah, cat's gone right. though. And I That's like not really going for it, right? Yeah, I like Hart Jr. also being patient. I say exactly as he goes in. <laughs> yeah, but I mean yeah. He went in on a dive kick. Wolf's dive kick is pretty good. Yeah. Ooh, we tried to uppercut. Oh my god, that hit in such a weird way. And the way that Wolf's uh, oh. yeah, it's got a lot of range. Shadow Eclipse has a very good hitbox compared to like the normal. Yeah, I fell for it that time. Good punish. Ooh, that's breakable, yeah. But it just went directly into Shadow off of that heavy. For the unbreakable damage. These dashes. Yep, the classic wolf. Bait the Shadow Counter with the Feral Cancel. Good break from the Absolute, staying alive. Absolute definitely, definitely. fishing with these standing heavy punches. Mm hmm at a disadvantage. And Wolf's like crouching medium kick and low profile the standing every punches, so it's like decently good counter poke against it. Oh my god he slid and got Fire hit. Cat. <laughs> that was a cool combo. He's it's got the cool jump combo. medium kick link. I mean it worked out. I don't know if I agree with popping the instinct so early, but he's still got a little bit to use. Yeah. Reset. This is where a lot more good damage really comes from. Another cool over reset to the shadow. No, Look no. at that. That's why, like, I'm not as scared of the Shadow Cat Breaker as I am of that, you know? Jesus Christ. Evened up with that yeah, sequence. Yeah, deal with the Wolf Instinct. She doesn't have meter. Yeah, it's dead. Man, Heart just going into a single jab into Shadow. It's ballsy. Definitely no. not hit confirming. No, he's totally <laughs> he's totally confirming that. What are you talking about? Yeah, no shot. You can <laughs> confirm his Wolf jabs into his target combo because he has a huge cancel window for, like, his target combo or chain on his jab. But into special moves, nah, it's like the tiny light cancel window on most lights in the game. Okay, let's see if uh, Zero is like, oh, maybe it's time to bring out that Hisako. Maybe he doesn't like the matchup, I don't know. I have no idea. Honestly, I've not picked his brain too much about how he feels about a lot of things. He's definitely one of the yeah. best Hisako players at the Wolf matchup out there right now. Of all the Hisako players I've I, I, I would think it's 
bad at all for Isako. Just, I don't know. I, I'm um, assuming the Orchid pick was more about having fun and playing somebody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Trying there out. are some annoying things that Wolf has on Isako, and I think, like, recently people have been thinking it's not as bad for Wolf as they thought it was in the past. Ooh, Mira. This I think one... if your Wolf lockdown pressure is very good, I like Wolf versus Mira. If you're not playing it that way, it can be kind of annoying. You really gotta, you know, have tight frame traps, be able to react to mist and stuff. And then knowing where to stand is important for Wolf in this matchup too. I really like, like a neutral, <laughs> I like to stand sort of just outside of her far medium punch range. Or her yeah. only medium punch range. Because it's, it's hard for her to like, Air dash in where you can't react to it, except in like, you know, bad connections or something. But no hiccup firm on the overpower. I want to see Sea Heart hiccup firm his overpowers. There's a lot that he's locked out on the medium autos. Not level 4, surprisingly. Oh, oh just no. jabs. Just Nash and jab. There's a hiccup firm. And a shimmy. Oh, he could have just did a one chance and is oh, dead. Oh, I do not like that. Well, he just has to, yeah, oh, one jab. Yeah, nice jab check after zero there from Mirror's jab. The only thing it would lose to there is throw. Okay, let's see if he gets started here. Oh <laughs> I went God. for the shadow counter the with the bat. The bat stopped him. It. Yeah, it didn't. The bats are working against there. Mira now. Nice blocks. Ooh, can't block forever. Nice uppercut. Yeah, minus nice. two on that uppercut. Getting the health back. Mirror can definitely do this. Nice she back dash. Nice shadow counter. Damage. Yeah, you gotta hit confirm that. Hit confirm is very important with Wolf, because if you don't hit confirm, you give up your plus frames or you get shadow countered. Oh, that was gross. Yeah, stayed in the front. Nice breaks from Seaheart. Oh! Yeah, hey, nice. If he wants to survive yeah, this I match, do want to see, he needs some crazy I want to see a standing defense. light kick check from... It's definitely Mirrors, yeah, there we go. That farthest range 5 frame. Mirrors 5 frames actually have like very little range outside of her standing light kick. And pretty poor hitboxes, but yeah. Definitely nice lockdown from Seahart. Aren't they? Absolutely definitely looking a little lost in the matchup. Are they like slightly plus or am I bugging? What is? Her, uh, uh, Mirrors standing light kick. It's minus. It's minus. What am I thinking? It's like minus one or minus two. Mira has no plus lights. Her jabs are both zero, and I believe her both are yeah. crushing like kick, stand like kick, or minus on block. They do have decently long cancel windows, and Nikki is pretty good at doing like st crushing like kick, probably, stand like kick into like a delayed refine to frame trap you. I'm probably more thinking Nikki's about with that. Yeah, I'm probably more thinking about being blocking another attack than getting stuffed out with the light kick while I'm trying to challenge afterwards. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Now, Mirror's jab zero on block, right? Still can be tick throw, you know, because <laughs> your throw will be a jab in this game. So. You know, what? I don't, I don't have any. Uh, don't yeah, have Sako Charbok. comes out. I, I think you're on something there, Charbok. Pretty cake. Pretty cake. Patty cake. All right. Is this match point for both players? Yeah, 2-2. Two, two. Game 5. Yasako comes out. Definitely can be very tough for Wolf on defense in this matchup. Wolf might, you know, have the advantage in neutral, but on defense, definitely not easy. Kinda just has to hold it unless he has meter, if then he has another option. No, not really. Not if it's not playing it right. That's she true. can just parry your, your reversal. Yeah, there's frames afterwards. You gotta wait until she doesn't so, have Wrath. <laughs> yep. Zero just going for Oh my for god. Her. Chip. Chip out. Yep. Nicely done from zero. Perfect round. You really gotta make oh take advantage god. of your walk speed in this matchup as well. Probably yeah. like the thing that helped me the most is once I started just walking around a lot. Like Kasako doesn't have, you know, any like really like hit you from full screen with. Yeah, dive oh. kick is really good because Kasako has slow anti air options. You're running up a cut and overhead are pretty good. That's a punish, trip guard? Ah, didn't go for it. Finds the hit anyway. Reset. Throw. Nice I check from Absolute there. Absolute has all these checks on the crossover dive kicks. He's done it two different ways yeah. now. Crossover dive kick is only like plus. Like you're only at advantage if you want like level three launcher or higher. All of the times it's like fake. 
I mean, over th after throw you can do it, of course, but... I'm like sweeping stuff, it's not. What a break. Wow. That's a parry. Yep, recap. Death? Combo. No. That's dead. Nicely Damn. done from Absolute. The main came out and he started cooking. Yeah, he looked way more comfortable. <laughs> like Sokka, I wonder why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I'm saying, he's definitely like one of the best Sokka's at the Wolf matchup out there that I've played. Damn, absolute Definitely cheap. the one that's given me the most trouble. <laughs> Nicely done. Honestly, playing Kisako is cheating. Update for you sports fans. We're in extra time in the World Cup because it's tied 2-2. It might be going to penalty kick. It'd be crazy for the game to end in penalty kicks. You can only imagine what Colossus is going through right now. Oh yeah, I'm sure he's buzzing right now. Next up though... Oh, I bet he's going crazy. I, I, I didn't. I wasn't really honestly going for a, a, a drinking thing there. I just he's probably. I'm feeling just saying. Good. Argentina being up 2-0 at the half and now tied 2-2. I don't know. Probably very stressful. 